My eldest brother Jim died in Saigon when I was five. I don't really remember him. I always thought Jim died in the war. In some ways, the truth was hidden from me. There's always been a lot of mystery about what happened to Jim. Jimmy was so interested in the rising tide. North Vietnam cannot humiliate the United States. A few months after getting home from the Army, Jimmy was making plans to return to Vietnam as a civilian. And he talked about the sex and the drugs and the food and the music. We thought that he had fallen in love with some woman over there and wouldn't tell us about her, because that's the way he acted. But Jimmy was very, shall we say, secretive. It was pretty clear even then that he, you know, he was hurting about things. Hi. You the GM brother? Yes. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Yeah. <laughs> There's just so many unanswered questions. I remember one frank talk we had, and I said, well, I just wondered, are you interested in girls? Or are you interested in boys? He doesn't, he didn't say anything. When I came out, I was like really suffering. To know that I might have had a gay brother could be a really, really moving thing for me. I want to get down to every bit of truth, and other people may be resistant. I really want to know if Jim was gay, if he had a lover. No, so they don't know. If I can find this lover. No. no. I want to find out the real truth behind actually how he died. That? Oh, my mother. Yeah. My mother. I just feel like I'm on the tip of the iceberg. <laughs>